So Guerrilla Physics have come to Bristol to show you some of the engineering work of Eisenbad Kingdom Brunel. So if you are studying physics at GCSE or A-level, perhaps you're interested in going on to study engineering at university level or that as a career. Brunel is one of the best examples of career engineer and behind me is the Clifton Suspension Bridge which is one of his most famous pieces of engineering work. So suspension bridges use the properties of two different materials. Iron, which is really especially good in tension, which is a stretching force. And stone, which is especially good in compression, which is like a squashing force. You can see the pillars are made of stone and the spanning elements, the wires that are doing the suspending of the bridge uh, level is in tension, which is a like a pulling, a stretching force. Tension and compression are actually internal forces inside a material whereby the molecules of the material are trying to get back to their original kind of equilibrium spacing. So if it's being squashed, they're trying to push away from one another to get back to their spacing. And if it's being stretched, then they're trying to pull on each other to try and get back to their original spacing. So if you go on to study this um, engineering, then you're talking about analyzing forces. And we do this in A-level physics a lot and in GCC as well in what's called a free body diagram. So a free body diagram just considers one body on its own and just the forces acting on that body. But at further analysis you'll need to analyze the paths of forces and try and find the weakest elements and work out structurally as a whole how the whole thing is going to work. So this example is combining two areas of your physics, the dynamics part all to do with the forces and how they're working to operate with one another and also the material properties, so maybe Hooke's law, uh, force extension graphs that is, and Young modulus which is stress strain graphs. So structures like this took an incredibly long time to build. Eisenbard Kingdom Brunel, he designed this, uh, one of the first things he designed as a young engineer, and it wasn't finished until five years after his death. So he died in 1859 and this was finished in 1864. So this was pretty much being built for his entire working life. So these are the elements in tension. Uh, these bolts will obviously be some of the weakest points so they have to be really carefully designed as well. And these wires, which is the shortest one on the bridge I think, are suspending the roadway which is hung in like sections. So all of these are doing the job of tension in the bridge. So these are the stone pillars and these are very good in compression. So they'll be bringing the vertical components of all those forces down through these pillars. But as well as the vertical components of those forces, you're going to have the lateral components, horizontal components. So this is what we're talking about when we're splitting forces into components a lot in uh, dynamics and physics. And those lateral loads, they need to be transferred somehow as well, otherwise the bridge is just going to fall in on itself. So that's why these tensile elements are pinned here behind me um, to take the horizontal loads from the bridge. 